Hello, 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 and welcome back for another amazing training. Uh, this one specifically covers ISA work. This one uh, covers how to data entry, very simple, from um, our main email account to our CRM. How to pretty much transfer the information and what you uh, should be placing um, in the in the fields. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this is pretty much the way we go about it so what's today it's only 26 okay all right agent formula has sent us another lead agent formula is the source this is the person here yuri wait this is a match i must have clicked the wrong one I must be working this one okay so for example this is the one that we're going to be inputting okay all right so from here, this is the name of the lead. Copy. Guess what? Paste. Copy. Number. Paste. Task three. Email. Copy. Guess what? Paste again. All right. So, what type of um what type of lead is this? Sometimes they're buyers. Sometimes they're renters. Sometimes they're sellers. Figure out by going ahead and going to the MLS, MLS listing that they inquired about. Copy paste all right and then you can also copy the address paste it you want to copy the price most likely that's their budget about a hundred dollars more or less it says that it is active and our agent formula website is uh, connected with IDX servers at the Glovar Association so if it says active there, I'm pretty sure it's still active unless the property managers are a little bit busy and they have not moved it over to C or L status. All right, so some other areas after their name, email, number, and some tags, we're going to add their hotness category. Of course, this one's a renter. And the, the way that you fill this out right here, we're going to go back for a second. So this is status, contact status. The status of the contact is that we have not called them, we have not emailed them yet, or we have not texted them yet. So we're not technically prospecting this person, and they are technically not out there on an appointment with us, so that means that they're not active. And they also have not communicated on the phone that they don't need to be moved until three to six to nine months if they're renters. That's what future means, three, six, nine months in the future and if that's the um if that's the case also you want to pitch to them hey why don't you possibly think about buying a home it's almost nearly the same cost i know i can get it done i've gotten it done for people in the past where they thought they can only rent and they came out they came out of the pocket the same amount as what a deposit cleaning deposit and first month's rent would be so you can always go ahead and pitch that to them and then if that's the case, you'd put future and then you'd move them from renter to renter buyer, possibly. OK, renter buyer category. But since we have not made a call to them, we're just going to go ahead and initially um, categorize them as just renting. Contact type. Wait, did I miss anything there? OK, close inactive or non-client. If you are registering a client that you happen to just, you know, maybe it's a friend or something like that, and they're not in the CRM and you showed them one place, they got into that place, no problem, then that's their close, they're inactive. So you just close inactive. And then if there's somebody that you say that maybe you have a family friend or somebody that you just met that said, hey, you know, I am thinking about selling my home like in a year from now, you know what I mean? That's not future because the future only will remind you every three, six, and nine months on your dashboard. So make sure that you go to um, the non-client area, select non-client, add the adequate amount of tasks that you're probably going to need to remind yourself throughout 12 months to stay in touch with them, but label that a non-client or else they're gonna pop up every seven days in your new task, every 15 days in the pro prospecting task, every 30 days in the active uh, dashboard area, and every 30, 90, or 30, 60, or 90 days in the future area. Close inactives don't, they don't pop up in your 
um, dashboard too. So, and if you need dashboard training, please go back to the playlists on our YouTube channel. There is tutorials explaining how to be a professional and proficient with your dashboard reminders. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Um, so let's also. I know this probably seems redundant, and I think we're gonna probably update this next year, but select contact type has a lot of the similarities in hotness categories like you'll see that we have a hotness category called renters well we also have a category type called renters you know what i mean so i'm thinking that we're probably going to figure out how to use one or the other this might just be levels of uh i mean it says levels of hotness there but when we started creating our crm we just used it as that contact type real easy and it's color coded so it made it even better Continuing, I always put no list on this. If you put active prospecting or past or top clients, the system will automatically automate a campaign of task reminders for you. It's kind of annoying, but then it's kind of not because then you don't have to set your tasks, but it only sets one. It doesn't set like multiples. It just sets one and it's like 30 days out. So be wary of that. I just put no, no list. And then assign it to yourself or assign it to somebody that you might want to refer that lead and make some money. Okay. Remember, in real estate, there's many avenues of generating income. You don't necessarily need to be a full-time real estate showing agent. I know tons of real estate agents out there that are just making it off of just referrals. Like take, for example, one of the most successful real estate teams in the southern last part of the uh, valley is um uh, hallie's angel hallie's angels over at keller williams has a amazing amazing um business model where she just trains all she does is train and recruits and then she has of course she has her incentives from keller williams has um i believe it's what is it what do they call it where the broker pays you a partial amount of every commission on your team from their cut and also every person that you recruit to the brokerage they have brokerage splits that you get a little bit of amount on their cut no matter who you bring there too so i think that's awesome over there uh, at keller williams but yeah hallie's angel is 100 completely a referral agent that's all she does and she i mean she make, makes great money lives a happy life she focuses on what she loves to do which is train so if you love training, if you love referring, not necessarily going to appointments, driving around the city, dealing with, you know, the opening and the ending of uh, the transaction, um, then highly consider just becoming a lead generator, you know, just lead generate, find a source and start tapping and tapping leads and, and start referring them for high quantities, you know, do incentivize, incentivize your agents. I mean, I know tons of agents out there that just love leads. Like they call me on a weekly basis, like, like hey, do you have anything new? Those are the type of agents that you're gonna want to refer your, your stuff out to because those are the ones that won't drop the ball and that you can bank on that you're gonna make some money on those ones because they're gonna they're gonna go after it, they're gonna make you know, go out there, set appointments, stuff like that. So I just wanna go ahead and give a quick shout out to Austin over at I believe he's at uh Urban Nest over there, one of their uh, best, you know, um amateur uh rookie agents out there so um shout out to austin if you're watching the video you need to come over to our brokerage man uh other than that though this pretty much concludes um the isa tutorial of how to data entry from our lead lead uh, lead source our email account into our crm database and then pretty much just save new contact now there's another tutorial that follows this please go visit that one um if you're entering mass quantities of leads into your database or even just four or five usually you're just going to want to just input everything input everything and then go check out that other tutorial we'll show you how to export those new leads and then import them into your dialer we're probably going to get rid of that dialer probably real soon depending on when we test run the, the dialer on our CRM because our line desk does have a dialer on it. We just haven't used it. Um, we will, will then, which then makes the process of exporting and importing your leads into our third party dialer obsolete. 
So please look for that. But meanwhile, please go get that training done. Figure out how to import export. There is a there is a, a kind of a unique process to that, and it does save you a lot of time to just put them all in a dialer, let the dialer ring, let them answer it if they want to answer it, or let the voicemail that you pre-set up just go straight to their VM and let them contact you when you have a chance. All right, well, this pretty much concludes it, man. Thanks for joining me here again on the CMPM. Please like, subscribe, and please share this. If you get a second, I would love to get a quick share. That'd be awesome. Um, have a wonderful uh, you know, last month of the 2018. We will see you in 2019. <clears throat>